Your traditional diaphragm wastegate has two ports. It's got a port on the bottom to open it and a port on the top to keep it closed. So how do you raise the boost? Basically, you've got to go out and buy a boost controller. You either get a pressure regulator or an expensive electronic boost controller to regulate the pressure to open the gate in order to be able to raise the pressure or apply pressure to the top of the gate to be able to close it and also raise the boost pressure. The Synapse wastegate is different in that it doesn't have a diaphragm, but you can also treat it like your traditional wastegate. You choose a port on the bottom to open it and you choose a port on the top to close it. And then you can use it with any other boost controller you would use with a normal wastegate. But what we've done differently is in this design, you can actually change your boost pressure for up to six different settings without ever having to buy a boost controller. And that's what we're gonna show you on this engine. So the Synchronic Wastegate has four different ports. From top to bottom, you start with A, B, C, and port D. So let's imagine for a second that this is your boost source. On the traditional wastegate, you would just apply it to one port. And depending on the spring that you have in the wastegate, you're gonna make X amount of boost. Let's just call it 10 pounds of boost. What's different on the synchronic wastegate is you've got the two ports down here, C and D, that open the wastegate. You've got two ports up here, A and B, that close the wastegate. If you put the boost source to open the gate on port C, let's just say you're gonna have 10 pounds of boost. If you wanna have a little bit higher boost, you just now take the boost source and apply it to port D. So even just using one vacuum line and one port, you can have two different boost pressures that the wastegate can make. Now what if you wanna make a lower boost pressure? So you've only got two settings by applying it to one or two settings. If you start to use a T fitting to T off the same boost source, you're now going to apply boost pressure to multiple surface areas and produce a lower boost. So now that you've teed off or wide effectively the boost source, you can now apply it to these two ports and make an even lower boost pressure. You have a total of six different boost pressures you can make on the synchronic wastegate using the same spring. The lowest boost pressure is made by applying boost pressure to the greater amount of surface area by applying boost to both ports C and D to open the wastegate. The next highest boost pressure you can make is by applying only one signal to port C. To go another step of boost higher, let's say you want to make, go from 10 to 12 pounds of boost, apply the boost source and move it from port C to port D. To keep it simple, we're only gonna stick with two boost sources to open the wastegate. To get the next higher boost level, what you would do is you'd apply boost source to port C and to the port to keep it closed on port A. Your highest boost setting on the same spring will be to apply opening pressure to port D and port A. Port B in the synchronic wastegate really works to keep the wastegate closed. You never want to apply a boost source just to port B because it will do nothing but keep the wastegate closed and boost will go through the roof. So you want to make sure that when you're applying boost to port B that it's a regulated pressure controlled by a boost controller. So the steps you want to take to achieve your target boost pressure on the synchronic wastegate without using a boost controller is to first get close with a proper port combination. So let's just say in this instance, you're making 10 pounds on port C, but you wanna get just a little bit more and get to 11 pounds or 11 and a half pounds. What I would recommend is you would apply boost to port C, and then you would go to your preload adjuster and go from 10 pounds, turn it clockwise to add more preload to the spring and get to your 11 or 11 and a half pounds of boost. So you now have an overview of the Synchronic Wastegate and its main features. You can appreciate 
the features of the product that differentiate it from everything else that's ever been on the marketplace. Eliminating the diaphragm, multiple built-in boost pressures without having to buy a boost controller, and our one-piece nitrided forged valve.